Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be installing Windows XP on modern hardware. For this video, I'll be using the same computer that I used for my Windows 2000 on modern hardware video, so we really shouldn't run into any problems. However, of course, we're running an experiment, so let's truly find out if we can get Windows XP to work with networking on modern hardware. The laptop I'm using for this has a glossy display, meaning that if I had a camera on it, it would look horrible. So I've hooked it up over HDMI to my external monitor, so we'll be able to run this experiment successfully. Right now, the new hard drive I just installed in this machine does not have any sort of OS on it. So the first thing we need to do is boot it up, go into the BIOS, take a look at the specs of this computer, and change it from UEFI to CSM. And here are the specs. So this has an AMD A4 5000 with 6 gigabytes of RAM. So basically what we're getting here is a processor that's not relatively modern, but it's newer than Windows XP. It's not anything revolutionary. It was a budget processor from 2014 or 13, I believe. However, it, it'll do for this video. It's modern enough because this computer has UEFI. So let's go ahead and change UEFI boot to CSM boot. And we probably want to change the SATA controller from AHCI to compatibility because in my Windows 2000 video, we did have problems with AHCI. And last thing, we want to make sure that our optical disk drive is number one, which it is right here. So for this video, I'll be using a Windows XP Pro SP3 DVD that I made probably like six years ago. This is incredibly old, and I don't even know if it's an original copy of Windows XP or if it's some kind of off-brand packaging of Windows XP, but I've used it before and it's genuine, it's a real version of Windows XP. So we're gonna be putting that into the computer. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and press F10 and escape. So now we should be booting the USB or it should ask us to boot from the CD, I'm hoping. Oh, there we go, it's booting straight into uh, we're checking our hardware configuration right now, and there we are. We have booted into the Windows setup, and I must say, it is really weird seeing this setup on a 32-inch curved monitor. I mean, this is like, it's Windows XP, but on a curved monitor. That is so weird. Something tells me that loading all of these is going to take a ridiculously long time, so I'll let this run. And finally, here we are in the Windows XP setup. So. We can go ahead and click enter and agree to this license terms. And here is the new 100 gigabyte disk that I installed in this machine. We're just gonna go ahead and delete this partition and we're going to install here. Just for time's sake, we're gonna format using NTFS quick, which is still gonna take a long time, but we're gonna let this run and hopefully it formats quick. And that actually didn't take too long. Windows wants to reboot, so I'm just going to go ahead and let it reboot. I'm actually kind of surprised. We haven't ran into any errors so far, which, I mean, I would have expected errors on a modern machine. Um, one thing that I think will be interesting is seeing how much RAM it can handle. This machine has 6 gigabytes of RAM, and the maximum for 32-bit operating systems is 4 gigabytes. So this is going to be kind of interesting to see how this plays out, if it will only recognize four, or if it'll recognize six but only use four, or some other absurd amount. I have no clue. Um, but yeah, this is not the 64-bit edition of Windows XP. This is the regular 32, so I'm interested to see. Okay, this does not look like the regular Windows XP out-of-box experience. So I'm going to, yeah, this is some off-brand package of Windows XP. I think it comes with a whole bunch of other utilities, but we can disable that once it decompresses, but uh, we are, we've installed Windows XP. This is kind of cool. So I'm gonna let this finish up and then hopefully we'll be able to set it up, I'm hoping. So let's go ahead and accept this license agreement and let it go. All right, so since this is that weird repack, this is what I was talking about, some kind of driver packs thing it should bring up a section for us to choose what software we want we should just be able to go ahead and ignore that or click cancel all right here is that option so we can just go ahead and click quit because we don't want any of that um and windows xp will restart in 30 seconds and or not this is our desktop all right so before we are forced to restart let's go ahead and change the background to that iconic bliss and let's see if we can change our resolution 
to something better. I think we should be able to, even though there's definitely no drivers for this machine. So let's check. Oh, we can turn it up to 1280 by 10, 1280 by 1024. It's not perfect because this is a 1440p display, but it is what it is. So let's take a look. Um, we don't have Wi-Fi, which is expected. However, we do have, it is detecting the ethernet. So in a minute, we'll take the laptop over to where the ethernet is and we'll plug it in and hope that it works. Um, there is no sound, it appears. So other than that, I mean, let's take a look at some games, uh, especially pinball. So yeah, there's no graphic acceleration, but I, I really don't think there's going to be any drivers for this machine um, for Windows XP. Um, this is incredible. So let's just take a look. Properties, okay. So we only have three gigabytes of RAM detected, not four, which is a little bit weird. But uh, okay, so we've successfully installed Windows XP on here. Let's take this laptop over to where the ethernet is and let's test the ethernet. All right, so here we are in the other room with the ethernet. Sorry if this microphone setup isn't the best. It's because I'm recording on a G7X and not my blue snowball. Sorry about that. Um, I couldn't get the snowball in here because it there's no room for it in here. So, yeah, let's try connecting to the Ethernet here. So this is a direct Ethernet line, of course, plugging it into the side of the laptop. All right, Ethernet is connected, so any minute we should be able to choose options or at least see if our network is connected. It is so weird seeing this laptop run Windows XP. All right, so I believe that we can actually get this to run at native resolution. Oh yeah, there we go. Windows XP on native resolution on this laptop. Let's take a look. This says acquiring network address. So it looks like it is connecting. Let's open Internet Explorer and hope that we can load something. It is still connecting to the internet, which makes me a little bit worried, but it does, okay. It does detect the battery. The battery did show up down there, which I've actually never seen the Windows XP power meter, which that's, so that's kind of cool because I've never had an XP laptop, only a desktop. But, so something about the LAN not having any network activity. Okay, there we go, Never mind. We are on the internet, so let's just try and download um, the MyPal browser that'll work with Windows XP. Let's continue to this web page. I think it's because of our um, time settings. I think that might be why. Let's run. Okay, so this is a little bit weird. I don't know if it's the hardware on this computer, if the ethernet controller is really this bad or what, but it is downloading at ridiculously slow speeds. So this is not good. I know it's not my network because I have gigabit ethernet. Um, so this should be gigabit. Maybe it's Windows XP's limitations or it's the actual ethernet controller. I have no clue. I've never used ethernet on this laptop before. But at least we are on the internet. We are running Windows XP at native resolution. The only thing that doesn't work is Wi-Fi and sound, um, which I'm sure there's some sort of open source generic driver we could try, but I don't think USB works on here. So we can't copy it over that way. And the web browser is still kind of iffy right now. All right, so now my pal is extracting. I'm really hoping that this works. This is going to be very, very interesting. Just to see if we can even load stuff on this machine. This is honestly incredible. I never thought I'd see Windows XP on a modern laptop. I think this is more, not necessarily impressive, but more satisfying than Windows 2000. And let's launch my pal. I believe my pal's default is DuckDuckGo, um, but my test is this, is we're gonna just see if we can load YouTube. If we can go to YouTube, then that would be perfect. Okay, so because we have no graphics, it is lagging a lot right now, but we technically loaded it, there we go. All right, so thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations and experiments like this. I mean, this was kind of fun. I mean, I enjoy doing this kind of stuff. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.